Hi there and welcome to my solar stats video for August 2025. Uh, it's been quite a boring month luckily, nothing's gone wrong on the panels, uh, everything's just been really quiet and running smoothly. Uh, not much to really report this month at all, uh, other than there's numbers of course. Uh, I did uh, get involved in my first free hour session of free electric from Octopus on the 31st of August. I'll detail that uh, in the stats and that's about it really. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. Right then, 687.14 kilowatt hours for the month of August. And you can see here from the spread of the days throughout the month, that the first couple of weeks were pretty good. Uh, and then it went a bit wrong in the third week. I think we had a lot of sort of wind and rain uh, in that third week. And then during that week, we were kind of averaging about 15 kilowatt hours uh, every day, which isn't too bad really. You'd be happy with that in the winter. Uh, but for the for August, it wasn't quite good enough and it kind of made the uh, overall numbers a little bit average, if you know what I mean. And then it came up a little bit um, in the last week of August um, but not spectacular. Um, I think the best day for me was the 8th of August at 34.46 kilowatt hours. And I'm gonna take a guess here at the worst day, 11.23, uh, 11.26. So very close together, but the 1st of August uh, wins it for the worst day in August. So 11.23 kilowatt hours on that day. So 687 divided by 31 days gives us an average of just over 22 kilowatt hours per day. So how does that work compared to the other years? Uh, well, if we look at this month, 687, last year's was 715. So it was a fair bit more in 24 and then 703 in 23 and then even better 783 in the first year in 2022. Um, but it was very close to July actually. So 687 in August and 680 actually in July. So that's not too bad. So it's on par with July anyway. So overall, I'd say that was quite an average August for me really. So how did this work out then for the roof? Well, 50 kilowatt hours for the south panels and slightly less for the east. Uh, the south is certainly getting more uh, of the sun at the moment. Uh, so 45 kilowatt hours on each of the panels on the east, but 50, 51 for the ones on the south. Okay, so this is the My Energy dashboard. I'm just showing you what I used for hot water. In August, 120.9 kilowatt hours went into, well, went through the eddy to the hot water tank. That usually runs just overnight. So most of those big spikes are the overnight sessions and then the odd little spike uh, where it seems to have come on from solar a little bit. Uh, just really early in the morning, it might have just used a tiny bit of electric before I get it to shut off again, automatically kind of thing through Home Assistant. As I have it kind of turn on overnight and then turn off during the day so it's not using solar during the day, uh, mainly because it's uh, better off for me to have the solar going out the door and get paid for it than use it by heating the hot water again. Right, so onto the Hypervolt EV charger. So August, a bit more up on uh, July actually by the looks of it. So what do we have in August? 286.69 kilowatt hours went into mainly the i3 actually because the uh, my car's getting charged at my workplace a fair bit now. Um, so most of that was actually the i3, uh, slightly up on July's which was 266. So about another 20 kilowatt hours went into the I3 in August. Uh, not much more on the scheme of things though really, is it? So the Hypervolt had 286, as I said, kilowatt hours going through it. At 7p per kilowatt hour, that equals 20, just over 20 pounds went in that car for the month. 
and the mileage on the i3 that month was 1,396 miles. Um, it was a total cost for that of 19 pounds and 67 pence as uh, some of that uh, original 20 pounds was in a little bit in my car. So based on the i3 numbers, um, basically got 1.41 pence per mile cost and the average miles per kilowatt hour uh, was about 4.96 miles per kilowatt hour. So really good for August. So moving on then, electricity use, grid import for the month. This is uh, through Octopus Energy Dashboard. If I just take off the standing charge, we spent 56 pounds and 14 pence. Uh, if you see that really high spike on the 31st of August, that was the first ever free uh, one hour uh, session uh, that I've ever done. Uh, I missed the other ones. I just didn't see the point of doing it really, but I decided to do this one. Um, I did query um, Octopus about this really because I haven't had a reply yet, so I've only just done it. But the standard rate was £2.63, but they only bill credited me like £2.14. So I'm just trying to work that one out and ask them why on that one. Um, so that's why that massive spike is there, because we turned on absolutely everything. We charged two cars, washing machine, uh, the oven, um, heated the hot water, all that. So we used a fair bit within that kind of one hour window. So electricity exported them for the month. As you know, most this really does match what comes in to what goes out. And you can tell that in that third week that I mentioned previously, you know, it's a bit lower there in that third week. Uh, but £84.44 pence earned at the export rate of 15 pence per kilowatt hour. And in kilowatt hours, it was 562 kilowatt hours going out the door. So gas wise, as usual in August, didn't use a lot of gas. I'll take the standing charge off £1.91 pence in August just for a few days there. Uh, I don't know what we're doing, maybe a bit of, actually I think we put the hot water on or something like that to heat up through the gas um, because it had gone low, uh, not for hob cooking or anything like that, but just for heating up the hot water. Right, so let's come on to some numbers then. As you saw before, the grid import, 750 uh, kilowatt hours, which equaled 56 pounds and 14 pence, not including the standing charge. So the average I paid per kilowatt hour was 7.48 pence, which is not bad. Uh, and the export, as you saw, 562 kilowatt hours at 15p equals 84 pounds and 44 pence. For the gas for the month, 30 kilowatt hours at 6.29 pence as I'm on a fixed uh, gas rate. And that equaled one pounds and 91 pence, not including the standing charge. Which brings us nicely onto the standing charges. So I pay in the east of England 29.38 pence per day for gas. So the times 31 days equals nine pounds 11 pence for the month. And my electric is 45.42 pence a day. So times that by 31 days gives me 14 pounds and eight pence for the month for the standing charge on electric. So to sum up then, gas used one pound 91 plus the standing charge of 911 equals 11 pound 2p for the gas for the month. The electric we used 56 pounds and 14 pence plus the 14 pounds and 8 pence for the standing charge but minus the export of 84 pounds and 44 pence and then minus the 2 pounds 17 credit that I got for the free electric hour equals minus 16 pounds and 39 pence but then when you take off the 11 pound for the gas we are still uh, you know doing well in a minus figure so we still made five pounds and 37 pence. So it's better, <laughs> I'd rather see that or break even than actually spending any money. So that's it for the video, thanks for watching. As you can tell from the stats, a fairly average kind of month really for solar, uh, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it'd be worse, a lot worse if it was lower than previous years or a lot lower, but August hasn't been too bad to be honest. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you did like the video and leave us a comment about your solar stats for the month. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'll see you soon.